You can now create surfaces and solids using profiles and lines from sketches with the context toolbar. To do so, in this example here, I'm going to select this profile line here. And next I'm going to select, holding down the control key on my keyboard, this line here. Next I'll select the robot within the given context toolbar. Notice quickly we have a second context toolbar up here. Make sure that the upper dimension mode is selected on as well as the create features mode. Next, go ahead and grab the arrow pointing in the upward direction and drag it. Notice now how our profile is now becoming a solid. You can also use the scale arrow for a more accurate measurement. You can also go in the opposite direction as well. If you want to actually go in both directions at once, go ahead and select the control key on your keyboard. And while that is being held down, select the arrow. And notice now our part is now growing in both directions. When finished, click anywhere in the graphic window. Take the center of our robot and place it over to the right. And there is our part. If we look over to the history tree, we notice that a pad has been created. If we double click on that, we can also edit it. Also notice that when creating a solid, the default thickness is one millimeter. You can change that at any point after it is created to the thickness that you like. You can create the same effect within generative shape design, but you'll get a different outcome with your surface. Let's go ahead and select our profile and holding down the control key on our keyboard, go ahead and select your line. And go ahead and select the robot and we get the same effect with our robot in the shape and we're going to select the arrow and pull. Now the difference here is if we take a look from the side view, our surface is now following the angle of our line. In part design, it does not. It merely goes straight up or straight down. Within generative shape design and creating surface, it will follow this line's angle. When finished, go ahead, select anywhere, move our robot to the side, and here's our surface. Again, also take note that the extrude is created and placed within our history tree and can be edited by double clicking on it, and it can be placed as a mirror extent as well. Moving back into part design, we're going to create a shaft using the profile shown here. To do so, we have to create a line using the context toolbar. To do so, go ahead and hold down the control key on your keyboard and select this point here. And next, select another point, still holding the control key on your keyboard. Notice our context toolbar now gives us a line mode. Go ahead, select that. And notice a line is now created between the two points that we selected. Next, go ahead and select the profile and holding down our control key again on our keyboard, select the line we just created. Go ahead and select the robot in our context toolbar. And also look in our second context toolbar, we notice we're going to use the upper dimension mode and create features mode. Selecting the robot within the circle portion, click and hold and drag in a circular formation to create our shaft. You also can use the scale arrow to change the value as well. When finished, select anywhere else within the graphic window to finish your part. If you notice here, it does have a thickness of one millimeters as default, and we have our shaft now created as well as our line within our history tree. This also can be done in generative shape design as well in creating a shaft surface. When finished, go ahead, grab your robot from the center and place over to the right, and your part is now complete.